Welcome back, Cobble Clutchers and Diecast with this to another episode of Crips Garage. Today I got a box opening from uh, our good buddy Easy at Easy Rollin' Wheels on YouTube. I'm sure most of you guys follow him. Very knowledgeable in the vintage Hot Wheels and uh, very entertaining to watch. I watch him quite a bit. And um, anyhow, we um, made a trade. You can probably see in his video where it all started. I'm not going to repeat what he said, but anyhow, this is the other half, um, what he sent me, and I am excited to open it because there's a bunch of stuff that I wanted and didn't have. So let me open this thing up, and we'll take a look. These are all going to be loose cars. So, uh, we got the old spinner. Take a look at them. It's got them in the nice little plastic bags. Very nicely packed. I'll reuse these plastic. This is, uh, so this is really cool. This is the um, spoiler sport, which I didn't have. So all these cars that he sent me are actually gonna spawn other videos because now I gotta do some videos on the spoiler sport. Never had this one, and I'm not even sure where it came from. If it's even a hot wheeler, it's supposed to be a. Um, speed machine perhaps so I'm interested in you know, it is a hot wheel so interesting to find out what that one's all about really stoked on that and you see another car a 300ZX so I guess I can kind of give you a little bit. It started out as he had a 300ZX. The package was all um, wet and he's trying to finish his collection. And I told him I'd trade him because I collect loose. He does collect loose as well too, but he also collects in a package. So it was an easy trade for me. And this was, and he had a few loose that he gave me or traded me and this is a variation of them and these are cool they have uh, opening doors you can kind of see the interior in there ultra hot wheels and he sent me one of each I believe So of course I'm going to have to do a video on these to see uh, what variations there are. If there's even more than these three here. And this is the one that kind of started the trade. I gave him one like that in the package, in a nice package, and he gave it to me loose. And so I'm pretty stoked on that. And then we, uh, so it was that. And I think this guy here. I'm 
which is a really cool. This is a didn't realize it at the time, but it's the Cobra um, California Customs with the real riders. So I think I did a video where that transition is he collects the '80s into the blue cards and red lines and all that other stuff. But I think I did a video where I'm showing where the red lines. Not the red lines, the the eighties transition into the high rakers and the um, real riders and the um, the um, California customs, which now these are kind of basically it's kind of basically the first premium Hot Wheel metal on metal. It's got an opening hood. So, kind of before it's time, so super stoked on that. And then, we just went down a rabbit hole and kept going, okay, well, what else can we do? And he wanted Sizzlers, and I wanted these. Um, I had a bunch of doubles and triples of Sizzlers, so it was an easy trade for us to trade um, these, what they call Revers. And I'm not sure if he's just not into them or these were doubles or triples or not. But they were, um, kind of had like a rubber band that went around this wheel here. And I think there's like a hook on the bottom there. And that's how it was kind of um, powered. So he sent me that one. And then he also sent me the kind of lime green one. So I can do another uh, video on just these alone too. So you you uh, spawned a bunch of uh, videos easy by hooking me up with all this cool stuff. Oh heck, look at you sent the van too. I didn't realize that was part of it too, but very cool. So. For a second, he also sent me this, which he saw my 18 van video, and he saw that I had one that was in pretty rough shape. So I think that was probably part of the trade. I didn't realize it, but that's awesome. Super stoked on that. Definitely like to get upgrades. over here next to the other man there there's another rubber all these rivers were um, yeah I'll to, like I said I'll have to do a video on them but I they're all um, enamel I'm curious if they were um, from 1973 Yeah, you get a rubber band and even try to see if I can figure out how to make these things go. That'd be pretty cool. I don't have any idea. Here's another one. Another one. So it looks like I've got two variations on this one. So I'll do a video on them for me and try to figure out what the names are. A little bit more information about them. And I mean, the one other thing that really caught my eye, and I'm surprised he let this one go. So let me see if there's any. Yeah, it just says Revers. I don't know if you can see that there. There you go. 
I don't see no name of the actual car. But I have a book that'll give me all that information. But this one here, this is a very strange one. Maybe he just didn't like it, but I mean, first of all, it's an enamel from 1973, and it's the pink um, strip tees. And it's um, very quiet. It's actually been probably the best thing in the whole the whole trade because it's got uh, it's all intact it's even got the little door on it so um, yeah great trade and, uh, put that there this guy over here I'll do the low view yeah. that's it very cool. So stoked. Thank you, Easy. Get that more focused. Look at those beauties. So excited about doing videos on all these. There's three fresh new videos right there. Four, actually, they can do. Um, so thanks again, Roland Easy. You guys follow him. I'm sure you have. He's pretty popular. Um, and uh, if not, do follow him. Rolling Easy Wheels, I believe is what it's called, but he's easy to find. And um, that's it. See you guys. Uh, happy hunting.